Welcome back to Health Bulletin. This video sheds light on the prolonged effects of COVID-19, a topic that continues to puzzle and concern many. Stay informed about one of the most pressing health issues of our time. According to recent research, one to two weeks after contracting COVID, the SARS-CoV-2 virus generally becomes undetectable in the upper respiratory tract. But does that mean that it is no longer present in the body? To find out, a specialized team from the Institut Pasteur to conduct a study. This research focused on lung cells using an animal model. The findings indicate that in some individuals, SARS-CoV-2 can persist in the lungs for as long as 18 months following infection. Additionally, its presence seems to be associated with a malfunction in innate immunity, our body's first line of defense against any pathogens. The study findings was published in Journal Nature Immunology. Some viruses persist in the body in a discreet and undetectable manner after causing an infection. They remain in what is known as viral reservoirs. This is the case for HIV, which remains latent in certain immune cells and can reactivate at any time. It could also be the case for the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes COVID-19. At least, that is the hypothesis put forward by a team of scientists in 2021. This has now been confirmed in a preclinical animal model. Studies have demonstrated that animals infected with SARS-CoV-2 experience prolonged periods of inflammation, as they suspected it could be due to the virus's presence in the body. Initial results from the study indicate that viruses were found in the lungs of some individuals 6 to 18 months after infection, even though the virus was undetectable in the upper respiratory tract or blood. Another finding was that the amount of persistent virus in the lungs was lower for the Omicron strain than for the original SARS-CoV-2 strain. Researchers were shocked to find viruses in certain immune cells alveolar macrophages after such a long period, and when regular PCR tests were negative. Furthermore, they successfully cultured these viruses and observed, using the tools developed to study HIV, they found that the virus was still capable of replication. To understand the role of innate immunity in controlling these viral reservoirs, the scientists then turned their attention to NK, also known as natural killer cells. The cellular response of innate immunity which is the body's first line of defense, has been little studied in SARS-CoV-2 infections until now. Yet it has long been known that NK cells play an important role in controlling viral infections. The study shows that in some animals, macrophages infected with SARS-CoV-2 become resistant to destruction by NK cells. In some cases, NK cells can adapt to infections, becoming what are known as adaptive NK cells, and can destroy resistant cells including macrophages. The study has therefore shed light on a mechanism that may explain the presence of viral reservoirs. Individuals with higher levels of the virus had not only an absence of adaptive NK cells, but also a reduction in NK cell activity. Innate immunity, therefore, appears to play a role in the control of persistent SARS-CoV-2 viruses. We will be embarking on a study of a cohort infected with SARS-CoV-2 at the start of the pandemic to find out whether the viral reservoirs and mechanisms identified are related to cases of long COVID. But the results here already represent an important step in understanding the nature of viral reservoirs and the mechanisms that regulate viral persistence. Thank you for powering our mission to deliver vital medical insights. Every subscription, like, and share not only drives our dedication but makes you a crucial part of our journey to deliver impactful and life-saving medical content. Thanks for watching. 